In central Georgia, we know weather in the spring can be rough, but the fall can also provide some challenging situations. So to make sure you're ready, Macon Bibbs Emergency Management Department is hosting an emergency preparedness fair next month. Anthony Montalto talked with the organizers today and takes us on a quick shopping trip to get us all started early. Are you prepared for anything Mother Nature might throw at Central Georgia this fall? Well, Macon Bibbs Emergency Management Department wants to make sure you definitely are. So, using some of their tips, let's go shopping. Flashlights, batteries, uh, lanterns, and all of our kind of new technology with battery backup, light bulbs. There's a lot to keep in mind when you're in severe weather mode, so let us help you streamline your checklist. George Jackson owns the Ace Hardware on Riverside. The newest thing in his own emergency kit, battery backup light bulbs. Well, having one in each room helps a lot. Just uh, the power goes out at night. We've got young kids at home. The pets are going crazy, so it's nice having even just a few throughout the house uh, helps navigate. But of course, there's the tried and true stuff too. Bungee cords and tarps can keep you dry after a weather event, and chainsaws can help you clear debris in the yard. With limited light, though. Having a good first aid kit around uh, is, is very, very handy. Macon Bib EMA Director Spencer Hawkins says it's always best to prepare weeks ahead of time. Here's how to get started. Write an emergency plan, build your emergency kit, and stay informed. If you do those three things, then you are going to be much better off. You're going to be much more prepared for when something does happen. So without further ado, here's some of my shopping cart. First things first, I grabbed a pretty heavy duty flashlight because I want to be able to see when those lights go out. I also grabbed some AA batteries just to make sure that everything I need has enough juice. I also grabbed a tart because let's face it, in central Georgia, I'm probably going to need it at some point.